Welcome. Today we will spend some time learning how to create a PNG design file to upload to publish to merchandise in your spread shop. You could open up Photoshop and make a design file to the correct dimensions. But wait, let's do this with GIMP. GIMP is a free open source raster design software. We will create a file in GIMP 4000 by 4000 pixels at 200 dots per inch. RGB is the color mode we wish to select and change the file background to transparency. In the spirit of simplicity, we will only use four tools within GIMP to create an awesome avocado design today. One tool is the selection tool, both the circle and rectangular selection tools. We will also use the paint bucket tool to fill selections with color. We will also use the paintbrush tool to paint on and draw some color in. Lastly, we will use the text tool to add some text to our design. Keeping it simple and fun will allow us to create a design quickly that we can upload to Merch in our partner area. Start with simple shapes. Simple shapes are always where I like to start. Starting with a circle for the body of the avocado, we make a selection and fill that selection with our desired fill color using the paint bucket tool. This green looks a little dark for me, so I'm gonna change it to a lighter color. There's a lot of trial and error when you're designing, but finding the right mix of colors and shapes is the best way to start. Now avocados are kind of oblong oval shapes, so let's continue with making shapes. And we have the basic outline of an avocado, but we should use the paintbrush to kind of smooth the edges of the avocado. So we select the paintbrush tool and make some modifications to the size of the paintbrush we wish to use and using the same color, kind of blend in the layer of that avocado to make a smooth, full shape. Once you're happy with your shape, we're gonna make a new layer because we want to make the pit of the avocado, which is also a circle. And you make a circle on a layer on top of your background layer, and we are going to fill that with a darker brown color because that's the color of a pit of an avocado. So select a new color and fill it with the paint bucket tool. And now we wanna make a rind, the outside of an avocado. So let's put that behind our background layer and on this layer, we can then use maybe the similar brown to make a rind and add a little bit of a 3D effect. So we'll see the rind come on one side of the avocado and disappear behind the avocado. This gives this design a nice little 3D look. We want to add a little detail because it looks a little flat. So something I like to do is add a little bit of a lighter color to make what looks like a shine and give it a little bit more of a 3D look. So finding a paintbrush tool we like, creating a new layer and moving it in front of all other layers, I like to just simply put dots of circles in a very cartoony way to make it look like that pit has a little bit of roundness to it and a little bit of shine. Our avocado needs personality, so let's give it some eyes and a mouth so also creating a new layer in front of all other layers or on top of all other layers, we will make some eyes and fill those with a dark color as well. Make another second eye in front of that eye. And then now we want to create a mouth because our avocado is certainly happy. So let's create a circle and fill that circle with a color. Now the easiest, quickest way to make a mouth shape would be now to erase what we don't want. Now because we're on an active layer, erasing won't erase anything but what's seen in that layer. That's why we like to create new layers so we can attack each layer independently. I'm also going to add a little bit of a color behind the pit because avocados aren't just a perfect color throughout. As they ripen, sometimes they get a little bit more yellow, a little bit more green. So I'm going to add some green in the middle to make it look more like an avocado and less flat and more interesting. I'm changing the 
appearance of the eyes, uh, the eye and face layer to make it more visible. And now we have a graphic of an avocado. We also want to add some text to this shirt. So let's add a text box, finding a font we like and finding a size of that font we like. I'm putting yay avocados as my shirt design because I think that's a fun thing to say is yay avocados. And now I'm going to move the avocado more to the center of the design because the square we have created, the 4,000 by 4,000 square, is going to act as the print space on our merchandise. So I want it to look centered and nice. Once we're super excited about our yay avocados design, let's export this file as a PNG. Navigate to File, Export As, and rename your file to something recognizable. Then in the Select File Type by Extension drop-down menu, be sure to scroll down and select PNG. Clicking on Export will export your file to PNG so you're ready to upload it to the partner area. Now head over to that partner area to upload your design and publish it on Sweet Merch. You will find on the left panel a tab for uploading designs. Click on Designs. You can now drag and drop your PNG file to this area. After successful upload, clicking on the Edit Pencil icon will allow you to add this design to merchandise. For this demo, let's add it to just men's t-shirts. So click off all the merchandise selections and click on the pencil edit tool of that t-shirt. You can now drag and drop and resize your design to best fit the t-shirt and click done. We also want to select an appropriate color. It looks good on white. So let's select white and hit next. Now you can describe your design so it can be better found on the marketplace and in your shop. Add a title, a description, and some tags, and click Next. You also want to select which point of sale you wish to publish your design to. I like to publish to the marketplace and then also publish to my spread shops. Clicking on both green check marks will allow this to happen. Clicking Next brings you to a spot where you can select a design price. Clicking Create will publish your design to the predefined points of sale. Now you've learned how to use free tools to create a simple design for your spread shop. You can now upload as many designs as you wish. Happy selling!